Welcome back friends to a foggy morning here on the Maynard family homestead. Most of the fog's actually burning off now, but it's still uh, still nice out. It's not hot yet, anyways. Uh, today we're gonna be working on the sickle bar mower, trying to get it ready for, uh, for cutting hay. So we've got probably about two weeks we'll be able to cut our field behind us here. And uh, I wanna get everything ready ready to go so we don't have any hiccups so got a few blades i'm going to be changing out getting it greased up ready to go and uh yeah so this should be fun so i'm actually going to take it with me over to our church today we're having a uh a multi-family uh, yard sale over at our church and katie's over there helping out with that and uh i was over there earlier I just ran home to grab the tractor and the mower and i'm going to go back over there so that way I'm there if I need help, but I can actually uh, kill two birds with one stone. So I'm going to hook up the tractor to the uh, sickle bar mower and head over and start working on it. So thank you all for joining us. Hey, if you, ha or if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, it's free. It takes just a second and uh, you'll be helping our channel out and we would greatly appreciate it. So uh, hope you enjoy. These uh, sickle bar mowers are always a pain in the keister to hook up. Finally got it. I had to change out my center link, top link, whatever it is. Uh, because the, the one I got on the tractor is actually, this part here won't fit in between my, it was it was too wide. It wouldn't fit in here or wouldn't fit in here. So I, I got my other uh, top link, got it hooked up. so. I think we're ready to roll finally. The drive shaft is, is seized up just from sitting for a year out in the weather. Um, so I've got to, that's gonna be adding to the list of things to try to get cleaned up and working again, so.
it to the church and found a shade tree, so I'm gonna get to work.
the bolts that go out here are a little bit shorter than the ones that go in here. So you have to make sure you put the right one back in the right. I just plugged it up in there and it wasn't long enough to get threads on. So you, you can't really mess it up. These up close right here are a little bit more of a pain. Um, we had to take all the nuts out off of the, all of these and then uh, basically pry it up with the screwdriver and slide them under off the, the bolts. So still not terrible, but it is a little harder than the rest of them. I think we got all the grease search filled. Uh, I have one right here that's broke, so I'm gonna have to get him changed out when I get back home. So, but other than that, we got all of them, I believe, and it is ready for action. Still a few weeds in there, but nothing like we've had in years past. Mowing at the first part of the season really helped. Well, let's give it a try and see how she sounds. belt's jumping for sure so i got to get that either tightened up or replaced the drive shaft sounds a little clunky i don't know if it's the housing that's on it is loose or if that's a u-joint making that noise but other than that man it's nice it's quiet and it's ready to go well, it's all ready for uh, when we cut hay here and coming up in about probably two weeks or a little less. So hopefully uh, it helps somebody just, as far as changing out blades is concerned. It's super easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm not a mechanically inclined, inclined person, so, um, but it's super, super easy. So I got to get some more blades from Tractor Supply and uh, which is where I got those and uh, get the rest of those replaced but it's good to go for for this time so we uh appreciate y'all watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up and uh once again be sure to subscribe we greatly appreciate it and uh, we'll see you on our next video